Salutations ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel Maniacal Miniatures. In this video I will do a review and a little talk about uh, that's the wrong way around Redgrass uh, Games uh, Everlasting Wet Palette which I bought on their Kickstarter. Yeah, let's talk about that. So ladies and gentlemen here we are with the Everlasting Wet Palette from RedgrassGames.com This is not a paid review this is simply me telling you guys what I think about the Everlasting Wet Palette because I backed this on Kickstarter. It cost uh, me um, 54 euros, which I, in my honest opinion, think is a steal for what it is. And I'll tell you why. Because I got this, which is the Studio XL set. Uh, in this kit, you get this lovely, great <laughs> uh, cardboard box. You get the Wet Palette. You get this cool little thing, they call a wavy, which are supposed, I believe, uh, to be for shades. You put in these little um, crevasses, which uh, it, it has magnets, so you can clip it onto the side, whoop, like that, on your wet palette. Uh, but I don't use this, because first off, I actually use my shade straight out of the pot. Don't tell Duncan Rhodes. <laughs> Um, but because this actually don't need all that much force to come off, um, I would have liked this to have at least three, uh, perhaps even five magnets as to give it a bit more bite because it only needs to twist a little bit before this is off and you have your shades or flock or whatever you want to keep in this all over the place. So I don't use this. But that's, um, that's actually fine, because I did not buy it for that, I bought it for this thing. And also, because in the box, in this Excel Studio pledge, I got uh, 200 XL size hydration paper sheets, which are these um, almost waxy papers, like baking paper sort of thing. Um, for the wet palette uh, and I have enough here to almost last me a lifetime. I have 200 of these and you'll see in a bit how little of it I actually use uh, over time and I get three, there are two here and uh, one inside because I've already taken this in use, uh, of this mold resistant um, um, hydration foam and um, yeah it being uh, mold resistant was a big selling point for me because I'm actually uh, highly mold uh, allergic so uh, that was a great thing for me to uh, to see in the Kickstarter that it's more resistant. And um, yeah, this wet palette has actually not been open for uh, well over a month. And you can see it's wet on the inside. The uh, the hydration paper as well as uh, foam are well and wet. Um, you can actually see little droplets here. You can actually see the water accumulating at the bottom here. So um, yeah, and the the paint is um, still very wet. Um, you can see here on my brush. I'm gonna just slap some on on this uh, Games Workshop uh, Iron Jaw Brute, which I collect for my army. And uh, yeah. As you can see, it's still... Oh, it's hard to paint with this camera in my face. Um, still very wet, very functional. Um, a month ago, I put this paint in here. It's still wet. That That's amazing. Um, I haven't had anything like it. This... Um, oh, sorry, this is not a paid review. This is just my personal opinion. And I just want to endorse this product for you guys, because this has saved me not only a lot of time, uh, saved me from a lot of stress, it has always sa also saved me um, uh, a lot of paint, because your paint don't dry out, so you don't waste as much. The stress is your, fr before I was going from the paint pot to the um, water cup, from the paper to the water pot, all the time, um, as to not dry out the paint, or uh, the paint drying out on the bristles of the brush, as to destroy the brushes. So actually, not only am I, am I saving money on paint, I'm wasting less paint, I'm also destroying less brushes since I got this. And um, yeah, I don't stress about going for the water all the time. I can actually take my time and enjoy my painting after I got this. 
So yeah, again, my greatest endorsements for this product. You can head over to redgrassgames.com and you can uh, get this one for yourself. Uh, I don't actually know what it costs right now, but um, it cost me 54 euros on the Kickstarter, which um, excluding uh, shipping. But um, worth every penny. This is one of the best investments I've made and it has really upped my painting game. So get it for yourself if you want to up your painting game. Thanks for watching. That was it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked the video, consider leaving a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more related content as it helps me and my channel out a great deal. Um, and in the immortal words of Walt Disney, remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. See you around.